In this world where 30 seconds and one minute of Instagram videos sometimes struggle to get your attention, you showed so much of the patience with me and the platform. I'm truly thankful for you for that. I guess this is because you are a programmer, you understand the process of building something, you understand that there are gonna be bugs, and you understand the meaning of version 1. So thank you so much for that. I'm really happy and very excited that I was able to present this product to make a difference in the tech community and it is showing good signs. We have already got around 1600 developers who are ready to get hired by anybody and already 10 companies have registered. A lot more are very excited to get on board. Some of them have already reached out to developers, exchanged their phone numbers because they were from the same city and are already in the process of getting on board. So this is really fantastic start. But with findcoder.io, my mission is much more bigger and I do have plans for that. I cannot share the entirety of the plan for the two years what I have currently in mind, but I would like to share some of the updates so that you know what to expect in the upcoming months and how we are planning and how we are taking down the things. Maybe this entire experience is going to be helpful for you to develop the next product that you are trying to build, or maybe in general as such. So with findcoder.io, as you might have already noticed, this is not a product which we have designed just on the go. We have worked through the various of the research. I have personally talked to over 40 HRs with a more than one hour long meetings that what are the data points you're looking up for, what are the problems that you face, and entire research work was done. And after that, we worked a lot on the design to make it more sleek as well as more professional as much as we could. So there's a lot of resources, effort that is going on with this product. There are a lot of goals that I want to achieve with findcoder.io and I'm dividing these goals into the three month sprints so that me and all of my team can actually focus on certain things in the three months and then we can take a rest of the things in the next three months. Now in the very first three months, our number one priority is to make the platform as much stable as we can. Right now, things are getting stable, but we need to add a lot more things, like a lot more tags need to be added. We missed out a lot of testing tags and a lot of cloud tags, but based on your recommendation and your feedback, we are adding them a lot. I've also opened up a repository where you can report bugs and enhancement and feature requests onto this platform because this is going to be entirely based on the feedback of the programmers and based on your feedback, we'll be taking up the new sprints as well. You will be able to find that repository link in the footer section of findcoder.io and I'll also directly link it up in the description section too. Now, apart from stabilizing the platform on the web so that nothing should break, you are able to get all the things and some of the minor things that we have missed out, like there is a cropping issue in the certificate that we need to fix and a little bit more that we have already discussed with the team so we'll be making that as a priority. Apart from that our three-month goal is to if if we can roll out the mobile app as well. I've already worked with the designers and we have gone through with almost on the finished version of how the app is going to look like. It's again being professionally designed and we want all the good practices and good code to be uh, in there in this product. So yes, the mobile apps are gonna be coming up very soon, but uh, depends on how much time we are able to give. I've already hired some people who will be dedicatedly working on this itself. So a lot of resources are getting consumed by this product, but I'm all happy with that. And yes, that is it. That is all the sprint that we are going to run through in the next three months, but there is a lot more that we need to do. For example, there is a goal of giving score to each project as well as each profile based on multiple factors like how many projects you have deployed, the comments, your GitHub, and a whole bunch of other things. So every individual and every project is going to get a score so that whenever HRs or anybody is searching for the person, we can prioritize some of the people who have the higher scores. And I'll be sharing more about how these scores are. Of course, the vague details, not the precise details. And later on, we would love to train some models based on these scores so that profiles based on some questionnaires, we can show the profiles of that relevant user much more. So that's going to be the plan of the next or probably some sprints. Now, apart from stabilizing the web and rolling out the mobile, we also have some plans regarding hiring interns as well as some, maybe some full time as well. And there are going to be two responsibilities on this team. The first is host as much as challenges as possible. And yes, this is almost going to be like a tech fest running all around the year. And another responsibility of this team is to reach out as many companies as possible and act as a placement officer so that you can provide the best talent available on the platform directly to these companies and onboard as many companies as possible. And once I'm able to roll out these things and these internships as more often as possible, 
this is going to become a kind of a cycle so that we can place as many students as possible. So yes, this is only the plan that I can share as of now. Surely there is a lot more that needs to be done. A lot of effort needs to be done here and I'm all ready to give all that in. So these are going to be some of the plans and some of the updates. I'll surely discuss more on this. And a lot of you have been asking about what is the tech stack and everything that we are using. We are building this entirely in JavaScript end to end and mobile also. We got some hiccups in the mobile uh, regarding the Flutter and all of that. So now we are rebuilding our app uh, in, the, in the version 2 already. And we'll be designing this entirely end to end in React Native. So entire platform is on JavaScript. That's the much I can share as of now. Now surely we can discuss more such things in the Saturday Live and feel free to ask any questions regarding uh, this platform. I can openly answer that. Again, one more thing is please don't think that I'll be more engaged in this platform so there will be no YouTube videos or something like that. In fact, the opposite of that is going to happen. You'll be seeing much more videos on YouTube this year. Uh, so yes, I am decently good in managing the time and managing the resources and overall management. So I'm going to be spending more time in videos. So again, expect more videos. The courses are going to be same as what I do in the regular days, teach a lot of stuff. So that is also going to keep on happening. So this is the last video of the The series. Yes, I explicitly named this entirely as The Updates, The Series and all of that. Kind of a funny and I thought this will be cool and it is. So that's it for this one. If you have enjoyed this video, use the platform findcoder.io and subscribe to this channel. We're going to be rolling out a whole lot of fun videos and some of the thoughts, some of the mindset videos and a whole bunch of other things. So let's go ahead and catch up in the next video. Hit that subscribe. I work in finance, God bless, no, this not by chance.